everyone welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to talk about whether or not a christian should be celebrating halloween and the answer is absolutely not for those of you who do celebrate halloween and you are a new christian i would suggest that you would do more research and allow the holy spirit to confirm to you whether or not you should be celebrating halloween and I know this topic is a little sensitive to a lot of Christians or a lot of people out there because I will admit in the past I enjoyed Halloween and I never really knew the history behind Halloween until I became a Christian. I realized that the Holy Spirit changed me in a complete way and I saw these changes in my life where I used to love something and now I don't love it. And it became so natural and so clear to me that certain things are not of God, are not pleasing to the Holy Spirit. So with that said, guys, I will admit I loved Halloween before I became a Christian. I would dress up. I would go out to parties and drink with my friends. It was honestly one of my favorite holidays. Can you believe that? Like... That's insane. And now it's one of the holidays that I cannot stand because the Bible is really clear. You cannot be children of darkness and of light. So the Holy Spirit took over that desire in my heart to celebrate Halloween. So if you're a new Christian or you see nothing wrong with celebrating Halloween, I would suggest with, my, with all due respect to do some research on the holiday and understand its real meaning behind it and also ask the Lord to give you confirmation if this is pleasing to the Holy Spirit that indwells in you. Don't take my word for it. Ask God. Say, Lord, is this pleasing to you? Is this okay? And I can pretty much guarantee that the Holy Spirit will put this desire in your heart like, no, this is not something I want you to be celebrating. So with that said, guys, I'm going to read about three Bible verses and uh, hopefully this will answer a lot of your questions regarding to whether or not you should be celebrating Halloween or not. So the first thing I wanted to read is 1 Corinthians 10, 21, and it says this, you cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. You cannot have part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. So either you're with God or you are with the devil. And as we know, Halloween promotes the devil, Satan, witchcraft. And God is the total opposite of that. So either you're on God's side or the devil's side. You cannot be in between or in both waters. Another Bible verse that I wanted to mention is 1 Corinthians 10, 20. Rather that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. So right there clearly, the Bible says, do not fellowship with demons. And all we see with Halloween is fear and witchcraft. And we see just all this drunkenness we see all this darkness that is not of god god is not a god of darkness of fear the bible is clear it says i do not want you to have fellowship with demons and halloween is all about demons and witchcrafts and ghosts and just darkness one last point i wanted to mention is second corinthians eleven fourteen says this and no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. So guys, I know a lot of things seems like they're no harm. Oh, it's just dressing up my kid for Halloween. He's a cute little vampire. Um, it's just candy. But you're allowing in your home things that are not of God. So you need to teach your kids at a young age what is appropriate and what is godly and what is not. When I was a little girl, my father made it very clear that Halloween was not of God. So I remember one day coming home from school with my little Halloween candy and my father took the time and explained to me why these candies were not good for me. And it wasn't so much about the candy because I know my teacher wouldn't poison my candy, but 
it was the meaning behind the candy. And my father sat me down and he explained to me so nicely on why I shouldn't be celebrating or receiving these Halloween treats. And as a kid, I it took me back for a moment, but I understood because my father explained it to me very well. So if you have kids, just explain it to them. They will understand. And if they don't, you still have to teach your kids right or wrong. With that said, guys, um, just take this with a grain of salt. I know that a lot of you don't see any harm in celebrating Halloween. I would say pray about it. Do your research on the origins and the meaning behind Halloween. And ask yourself, does this glorify God? Just ask yourself that. Does this glorify God? Does me going to a Halloween party glorify God? And I'm pretty sure your conscience and the Holy Spirit will tell you no. One last thing, guys. I just don't want you to think like, this is my way. This is what I think. Just ask yourself, does this glorify God? Pray about it. And I'm pretty sure the Holy Spirit will give you confirmation and clarity because guys, like I used to celebrate it and the Lord was clear about it. He was like, I do not want you celebrating this. And I never had the desire ever since um, to celebrate it. One more thing I wanna mention is I know a lot of churches these days are celebrating Halloween because they want to keep people in the church. They wanna sugarcoat the gospel either you are a children of light or a children of darkness and sadly i'm in between churches right now because the church that i was going to was celebrating halloween and i was like this is unacceptable i told the pastor with all the respect in the world i set him aside and i told him this is the reason why i won't be coming here anymore and he just didn't seem to care. He just seemed to care about how many people he can get in the church and pleasing those kids and pleasing those parents and making church more fun. And it's just so sad. A lot of churches these days, what they'll do is trick or treat from the trunk of their car. So they'll decorate the trunk of the car, they'll park the car at the church, and they will have the children of the church go to these trunks of cars, have these children collect candies from the cars. And they're teaching little kids from a young age to dress up and to be just like the world when the Lord called us to be different from the world. So it's just so sad to see guys. And if you're going to a church that celebrates Halloween, I would pray about it. I would look for another church because that is not of God. And that is my opinion with all the respect in the world to anyone listening out there. The Holy Spirit will give you confirmation on what is right or wrong. And if it feels wrong in your heart after praying about it, then it's wrong. Follow that feeling, that Holy Spirit guidance. And I'm telling you, your life will shift to a better um, godly life. Again, I have no desire to celebrate Halloween anymore. And I know it's because Jesus took away those desires of my heart that were not pleasing to him when I gave my life to him. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you agree or you disagree. We can disagree with respect. Um, we don't have to argue. We can just have difference in opinion, and that's absolutely okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.